Okay. All right. You have to flip the uh, bird over. This is the backbone. So what you're going to do is cut along both sides of the backbone okay. and remove it. I finally learned the difference between spatchcocking and butterflying. Spatchcocking cuts out the backbone, while butterflying splits from the breast or the chest side. Yes. Now, makes good fodder. Turn this over. Turn it around. I'm going to clean all this out too before we. Okay, so now you've got. That's where this the word butterfly comes from. Breastbone in here. Okay. And you're going to. Mom, you should have been a surgeon. Cut around. You should have been a surgeon. More of a. Yeah. Sharp. Yeah, that's it. Well, there's a big chopping butcher knife somewhere. Well, it's in here like the surgical technologist. Yep. No. There you go. Sounds like a government job. There you go. That's the camera in movie. You have a spatchcocked chicken. All right. All right. All right. All right. Here's the neck along either side of the breastbone. So let's do a quick review. First, cut out the backbone with a good pair of shears. Looks like Wilson's got a little dull here. Second, remove the breastplate. And three, just clean up and get ready to grill. And a special thank you to our daughter's boyfriend who was such a willing student, and now he's grilling great too. The shipping department might have stolen. Okay, there we go. go. All right. Very right, good. Slide it open. No, you got it. Let's see. Okay, cut along these. Yep, yep. It's almost like filleting right there. Yes. As far as temps go, I really advocate lower if you can. I'm the 350 to 425 guy. I'd rather squeeze an extra 10 minutes out at the grill. Um, these spatchcock chicken probably took 50 minutes. And uh, just turn them a couple times. We threw a few jalapeno poppers on at the end. 